shit. Hey, ladies and gents. <laughs> Good morning. This is Scorpion here. And it is a lovely morning. Right now, it is a little bit foggy or a lot foggy, and it's a little bit cool, but not that much. Look at the fog. Holy shit. This is thick pea soup right here. I left the kitchen light on. Let's check outside. Yeah, like pea soup. Oh fuck. I need to get back in here. <laughs> See you right now. Yesterday I shot five balloons, but Michael Reese shot this one. This is his balloon that he shot. What? I can't remember which one he shot. This one. He sh no. No, 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 no. This one. Yep, that's the one. I keep forgetting it's this one. But that's all my balloons. This one's Michael Reese's. But I done really good yesterday. It shot five balloons. He shot one, that makes six. That's not bad. I got a spare packet, this is a packet of 20. It's helium balloons. Incorrect, incorrect, correct. So the middle one is correct. If you fill it up to that one on the right, that will be one explosive flammable balloon. Holy shit. Because right now, I got my archery gear in the car ready for today. And right now, I gotta turn on this light for Stumpy and Chevy. I need to move this. I saw he was in my trousers. Please, Shady. Don't pass away, baby boy. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hey, let that do uh, take that out of your mouth. There we go. There we go. Good morning, baby boy. Don't do that again. Don't pass away. You're my lucky boy. Hey, baby girl. Hello. Hey, sweetheart. I love you. See you today. I might keep the heat mail on. If they are in Maying season, I might leave the heat mail on so when he's ready to mate, he's gotta go on top. I know he's a funny boy to me, but I love him. I want him to breed, I want him to have his own family, so I want him to breed with Stumpy. Stumpy grabbed him by the right side the left side of his head and she's ready to mate so hopefully he is but if he's not well he's too old for that now I understand that anyway see you right now let's turn on, let's turn off this light and I gotta have a shave too so that's gotta be after breakfast so yeah. So right now, I gotta get my gear ready and already done. I already charged up the camera, the camera battery, everything's in here, even the bottle of water. I need to grab another one just in case. But yeah, it's all good. I love archery. Archery is one of my favorite sports. I never give up on it. This is my favorite sport, no one else's. So, yeah, my little brother gave up on archery, so, yeah, his arrows are still there. I'm going to bring them next Saturday, not today. i got to bring them next Saturday so I can shoot them, not just my arrows. So, yeah. Plus, you just noticed, I got a broken 
out a broken bowstring connector from my turkey feather arrows. Michael Reese's arrow went through the hole right here and split this. And that was some amazing shot. See, so yeah, that is one amazing shot what he did. Fuck. So, after breakfast, I'll see you guys. Uh, actually, till then, stay tuned for more action. Till then, see you guys all over the field. All right. Uh, let me turn this off. All right, I'm at Archery. All right. It looks like everyone's here. Um, Ian's here. Can't see Patrick. But I can see others in the building. So, this is going to be absolutely great. So, yeah, I found out what's wrong with the camera. If it's underneath the shelter on the back of it, it is tricky to go to. So, I'll see you guys inside till end. Peace. Okay, here yeah, wait for the others now. So, let me straight up the camera. There we go. Alright, here we go. Hey. Hey. Hey, Jack. You got a hang on me. That's cool, man. This is that cool.
Seeing that you're shooting a compound now, um, you would have got no use for that bloody old bear thing you've got, have you? It just broke, so yeah, I have. Sorry, I'm just going to take a All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is part two. I'm just waiting for the other guys to get their arrows. Well, ladies and gents, to get their arrows because there's one girl and a whole lot of guys. But right now, I'm just waiting for the others. I'm talking about how I'm going to get this green balloon. And this green balloon, I started on the second round because... Earlier, i done a practice round. So I can get the balloon. But you see that green balloon in the middle of the target? Well, that's the thing I'm trying to get. And right now, that balloon is a pain in the ass. So, through the weeks, I keep getting the balloon. And yesterday, I got five balloons. But the last balloon, my friend Michael Reese has... The last balloon, that's the sixth one. So today, this is my first balloon for Sunday morning. So right now you can actually see I'm just getting ready. And you can see my bowstring is unthreading right now because you can actually see a problem in the whole thing. So right now you can actually see my strings unthreading. Yeah, I had it for two years. It's still pretty good. So, Peter right here is going to ask me if Jack wants me to put him with me. So, he did. So, Jack's next to me. You can actually see his bow stand next to me. And a part of his bow. And my camera wasn't really um, in the spot for it. So right now you can actually see his hand and his bow moving around and stuff as I can go. So right now I'm just showing him how I shoot. Now, his dad Peter asked him to put near his ear, the string near his ear and fire properly. He did pretty good on the first shot and he hit the seven on the first arrow. And this is his second arrow where he's going to shoot now. You can't even see Jack properly. So I'm just showing him how to shoot probably with a stray arm. You can actually see him point up and shooting. I'm trying to teach him how to shoot straight. But yeah, I think, yeah, I think he's just practicing. But right now, <coughs> excuse me about that. That was only a little cough. Now I done my third arrow. And I'm doing my fourth turkey feather arrow, the one with the green 
string connector that was absolutely a pain in the ass because Michael Reese he actually split in half and broke it completely so I got stuck with three yellows and a green so you can actually see I'm talking to Jack to concentrate on the balloon in the middle of the target and right now he's not concentrating on the target that much and his arrow keeps going to the left and right so that is normal to me so right here I'm just showing Jack how to shoot straight and I'm just looking if everyone's finished so I'm just talking to Jack right now about how he shoot and how he's shooting a little bit crooked today but yeah so I wait for the others to stop and I say arrows and we go get our arrows anyway but I'm just having a look at Jack's arrows and he's not doing bad you can actually see Logan went past me uh, past the camera that's Logan now you can see Lockie Heath Michael and his daughter uh, one of the instructors Jim and Jeff so everyone was shooting today absolutely cool so everyone was shooting today and I quite enjoy it it's absolutely good shooting with friends and is absolutely great so right here we are collecting our arrows and you can see Michael and his daughter and one of the instructors shot an arrow through the target and they had to lift up the whole target paper off so they can see where the hole is so yeah some of the arrows went through the target anyway I picked the square target because the square target actually is more solid than the circle oh square middle I mean not the circle target the square middle of the target it's a big square film you got the circle middles or you got the squares I picked the square now I told Jack I, he's a very good shooter and I told his dad Peter that's one of my friends uh, that is on my left <coughs> he's doing good now I'm just getting ready for the next shootout and right now is absolutely good this is the second round so right here is great it is really beautiful and I'm just talking to Jack how his shooting was on the first round well the second round because I've done the first round with me in it so right now you can actually see I'm talking to Jack right now and everyone was walking back from their target but right now I'm just looking around and Jeff and Logan oh Jeff and Jim my bad Jeff and Jim was walking back as well but I couldn't see Peter so I picked up well I moved my bow across even um Jack's bow across you can actually see Jack now he had a haircut that is actually cool. He, he looks absolutely cool now. And I was telling him when he's look when he's got his bow straight, you can he can actually see the target probably. But he's holding the bow up slightly and not getting that proper aim. So watch this. Um, I'm actually showing him how to shoot the bow properly now I was talking to him to pull it near his ear and fire now this is his first arrow right now he hit the seven that was an absolutely good shot but after the first shot he goes a little bit sloppy on the sh shooting so yeah right now He's getting the one, he's getting the two, three, four, five. But he's not getting used to of getting the target. Last time he shot the balloon, 
and he is actually a beautiful shooter. But today he's going like a little bit left, a little bit right, all the way up, all all the way down. But his dad told him to put it near his ear, like his thumb near his ear, right next to his cheekbone, so he can get that good leverage and good aiming. <coughs> Excuse me about the about the coffee. But right now, I'm just sh showing him how I do it. Now, l watch this. He is releasing quick. He hit the wood this time. So, right now, I'm just showing Jack to shoot at the balloon. Don't concentrate off anything else. And he hit the wood again. So, yeah. So it's my turn to shoot the arrows as I see and I was looking back at the camera if the camera is pointing properly so right now I'm just um, shooting four arrows and I'm talking to Jack how his shooting went so right now I'm just looking and actually doing stuff in my own way so right now I'm just looking around if everyone's finished I say arrows and here we go we go get our arrows and I was saying to Jack I will help him to find the arrows on the grass and get the arrow out of the wood on the bottom while the arrows hit the wood that hard don't know how hard but I wiggled it out I think but Let's see what happens. If I wiggle it out, yeah, he hit the wood. Oh, great. So, yeah, this is only the second round with me and Jack. So, right now, this is absolutely great. So, you can see Lockie, Heath, Michael, and his daughter. Nope, he's one well, of the instructors. My bad. So right now you can actually see the target on the right, on the far right, not on the back, but near the trees. Uh, Jeff and Lockie, wait, Je Jeff and Jim, I mean, my bad. Uh, they're supposed to shoot, but they went for a coffee break. And that is actually normal for all people th like them. Yep, just like old people. So right now, this is absolutely great. Jack's walking back with his arrows, and I just put all my arrows back in my satchel. So right now, you can actually see Logan walking past. <laughs> he came from he came from the far target on my left. That is the sixty mark, sixty mere mark. So right now, I am just going back to my camera to do the next. Round, so I'll see you guys in. So this is the third round with Jack. So you can actually see uh, Jack is ready. You can actually see me and him now, except seeing half of him. You can see the whole him. He is actually a little bit disabled. Not, uh, not like me. Uh, I'm a little bit disabled with my right eye. But he's disabled. But yeah, he's a good friend. But look at his shooting. He's he's not very good today. I was starting to get a little bit worried. So you can actually see I am trying to help him out. And... He's releasing quick. He's releasing it quick. Not taking time. Not taking a breath. Not looking at the target. He's actually not taking any time. Look at this. He's he's not taking a breath. He's not looking at the target properly. I think he's a little bit stressed. I don't know why he's stressed anyway. I don't know how he feels. But... Yeah, he's... Yeah.
So right now, um, me and Jack is just shooting. And that arrow went onto the ground. So I was telling Jack to hold the string near his cheekbone so he gets that proper leverage. But right now, he's releasing it quick. And actually, it's not helping him to get a proper leverage on what he needs. But right now, this is absolutely good because right now, it's like... One quick leverage and he's just releasing quick. Now I'm trying to help him how to shoot and how to excuse me about the bad language on the background because that was my dad. So I'm I'm trying to help him to shoot quick, like shoot better. I was testing out his bow. And see if it's a right hand or a left hand. And it's a right hand. Same as mine. So he's a right hand hold left hand shoot. So he's the same as me. So we go get our arrows and I help him with the arrows while he got stuck in the wood. Or the ground or the grass. So right now we are just walking to our targets. This is only the third round. Um, but my practice round was absolutely good. <coughs> Excuse me about like, about the coughing. I got a dry cough because I haven't drank anything. So right now you can actually see I am really happy. Because me and Jack, we are actually best friends. Literally. He's disabled and I'm not. Well, I'm disabled with my right eye because I can't see my with my right eye, but yeah. So, yeah. I got all the arrows out for him. He's walking happy, I think. But he doesn't smile. He, he doesn't smile at all, anything. He's just, he's a quiet guy. He doesn't speak loud. He speaks quiet. So, yeah, this is good because right now you can see Jim walking back from his target and literally I'm just yeah but right now I'm just walking back to my camera and I was talking to Patrick or Pete about Jack shooting and getting ready for the next round but right now this is the fourth round so right now um jack's shooting by himself but i'm just helping him to shoot now you can see peter just went past the camera that's jack's dad that's peter so right now you can actually see I'm just helping Jack for Peter. Because you can see Jack's aiming and shooting. It's really quick. Literally, he's not concentrating. Um, I'd rather help friends and family than different people. So, right now, um, I was showing Jack how to shoot straight. He's pointing a little bit up. You can actually see. <coughs> Scares a bad cough again. But right now, um, Jack's shooting really quick. Now I'm starting to get worried about that. He's, he's not concentrating onto the balloon. So this is only the fourth round. So right now, um, Jack's not really concentrating on the balloon. He's actually concentrate on the bow and what Ian told me on behind me the behind the camera that it's that's Ian um weeks ago he told me to look at the object on the target don't look at your bow and arrow look at the target and shoot it don't sh don't look at the arrow 
So, it's more bad to have advice from a professional than yourself. So right now, I'm showing Jack what kind of poundage of my bow is. And look at his. He's got a 28 pounder. And I got a 32. So right now, you can actually see Jack shooting. And that arrow hit the wood. So right now, um, uh, I shot my last arrow. That's the fourth gold arrow. Gold and black turkey feathered. So right now, um, I'm just straight out my bow. You can actually see my strings, um, Refreading itself like destringing. I had it for two years and it's taking it old. So, right now, I'm just waiting for the others to to just absolutely come back uh, to stop shooting and finish. So, you can see Jack's a little bit stressed, and I don't know why. So, we go get our arrows like normally. But yeah, when I see Jack walking like that, he is a little bit stressed. Don't know why. Maybe he did not want to come today. You know, normal shit. So right now, um, we just go out and get arrows. Excuse me about this. So I gotta get up. All right. Um, me and Jack's just absolutely getting used to shooting now. So right now. This is the fourth round ending. So I'm just helping Jack get his arrows out of the wood. Even mine why lend him. I lend him one of my black and gold turkey feather arrows. He did not go so good. So right now um, I'm just helping him out to see how he shoots on the next round. <laughs> So you can see, um, Lockie, or, oh wait, that's Heath, oh fuck, no, oh, that's Jim, oh my bad, on, on the left of me, uh, on the left of the camera, you can see Heath and Peter talking. <laughs> You can actually see, but right now, um, I'm just actually confused, and you can see that they are walking back to the target. Now, this is about to round five, so right now, um, you can't even see Jack, and, uh, you can't see Heath or Peter, and I'm just seeing what kind of poundage of the bow. So, when I was getting my bow and arrow ready, well, I was showing him how I concentrated. You have to hold it near your cheekbone to get that good leverage. Now, um, I was showing him <coughs> how to shoot. Excuse me about the bad coughing. Now, I was going about to sh uh, I was going about to show him how to shoot and I pull back and one of them say don't shoot don't shoot Peter and he's still at back so I put my arrow away and I was in my bad so I did that so that was my mistake so this is only the fifth round there's only about three more rounds to go with me and Jack. But right now, me and Jack is actually um, waiting for Pete and Heath to come back. So I'm just sitting there like a soldier <laughs> with my hands crossed on the back. And just waiting patiently. 
So I'm talking to Jack uh, um, about his shooting on the last couple of rounds. He did not go very good. So I don't know what's wrong with him because he never showed impressions of smiling, frowning, well, smiling or upsetness. He never shows that. <clears throat> so, right now, you can actually see Heath coming back and Pete's going back to his bow on the left. That is off camera. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me about the dry throatness. So, right now, this is only the fifth round. So, I'm picking out the bow. Jack's getting his arrow ready. Now, I was showing him how to shoot. With a straight arm. He did not go very good. He shot the grass. He is go again. And... He did not go very good at, at, at the same time. But... Yeah, but he's he's gonna shoot by himself. For now. So right now, um Jack and I was shooting. But I'm just watching Jack how he shoots because I'm starting to get worried because I don't know if he's stressed because he's shooting's like a little bit off. As I see, but yeah. So this is absolutely great. But yeah. So I told Jack to hold the bow straight to get a good aim and not put the bow point up. I know he's disabled, but I'm trying to help him a bit. And he hit the wood. Excuse me about this, ladies and gents. Uh, that was horrible. So right now, I'm just getting my bow and getting ready to shoot. I get my first arrows. Then my first couple of arrows. Well, I already shot my first arrow, so it's only the other three. So I showed him how I shoot with a straight arm, pull back to your cheekbone, and fire. After take one breath, then fire the arrow. But right now, I'm just telling him how I fire the arrow. And you can actually see Patrick walking past. So. I told Jack that he'd done a really good job still. I don't want to hurt his feelings, but he really did try. But he's still hitting the target. But on the wood, number one, two, three, four, five, and number six, and one number seven. That's all it takes. But right now is absolutely great. So. Right here, I'm just waiting for the others to finish. And Heath is gonna finish shooting his arrows first because he's still shooting. So while we wait, and Heath just finished shooting, so he said arrows, we gotta get arrows. <coughs> Excuse me about the c coffee again. Shit. See, yeah, this is normal, but try and help Jack, that's a different thing. He doesn't know how to shoot the target properly, but he's a good friend. I don't want to make him upset. I just say he's done a good job. He's disabled. He's, I think he is disabled, I don't know. But, yeah. Now, Patrick, he... 
came over and see what Jack Shing is and he actually hit the nine but not near the balloon. Well, it was near the balloon but not that close. So right now, um, this is absolutely great. And I don't want to... I don't want to let him down. So I helped Jack to get his arrows out and stuff. So I get to use of him around. So right now, I don't know. If he's a little bit stressed, he's not shooting properly. So I was talking to Patrick while I get my arrows out. I got the balloon with the fourth gold arrow, gold and black arrow. So that's the fourth. Uh, that's the fourth one. So right now, I'm just actually um, talking to Patrick while I'm walking back. But I stood still and talked to Patrick a little bit longer. So while I talked to Patrick, uh, Jack went to go inside the building to have a break and stuff. So I walked back to my bow and Patrick walked back to his bow. So right now, this is absolutely fun. The fifth round, absolutely fun. So right now, this is absolutely great. Um... So right now, um, Jack on the was he done absolutely great on shooting the target. They had no problem at all. So, yeah, um, Jack did not do that bad. He's a good friend, and I never ever be a little bit upset with him, because he's a good friend. And I like talking to him. He's a quiet guy. Literally, I, I like talking to friends. Now, this is the sixth round. Two more rounds till Jack packs up and goes home. He goes home about 11.45, 11.48. And he packs up his bow. Now, this is around... Oh, shit. Okay. I actually mixed up the beers. So this is the practice round what I did. <laughs> so my bad. So yeah. This is the first round where, where I started. So yeah. <laughs> my bad ladies and gents. Oh fuck. What did I do wrong with these videos? <laughs> so yeah. I started practice by first before everyone came in. So before everyone started, I practiced shooting every time. But the rounds what you see there is all good. So there is seven rounds with me and Jack. But this is the start where I started. Practicing. Practice rounds. It's all good. So right now you can actually see I am just practicing before everyone came around so yeah you can actually see i'm just practicing before everyone started oh beautiful so right now this is how i show you guys how i practice before i start When the field's empty and it's just only me out there, it's all good. So right now you can actually see I'm just practicing and I heard noises and I heard everyone else behind me. So this is a practice run. And you can see Dave just arrived. This is all after. This is all before. Um, me and Jack paired up. So right now, I'm just getting my arrows. Well, I I was talking to Dave how far is the 60th target that goes 60 meters. Holy shit. 
I never ever believe how much far distance is that target. So I could get my arrows before I start, before everyone starts anyway. So this is a demonstration how I started. Practice before the main shoot. So right now I'm just getting my arrows and actually relaxed and this is how I first started our practice. It is absolutely great. So right now um I don't mind how to just relax and stuff as well. So yeah I come back with my arrows and I talk to Dave. So right now, <coughs> excuse me about a cough. So here I go behind the camera. Now, this is only the sixth round after the practice where I showed you on the start where I first started practice. This is the sixth round. Well, ah, shit. This is the second practice round with me and my bad again. I got mixed up with the freaking video, video. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. Uh, this is the second part where I was with Dave in the morning. So this is the start. So right now, me and Dave is just practicing before the others start on the battlefield. Well, the arrow target field, the target battlefield, whatever it's called. <laughs> so right now you, you can actually see him, me and him. He's got a compound bow and I got a 32 pound bow, bear bow on me. He's got a compound, unbelievable. One of those arrows go through that target. You can't even get out until you needed to have a special tool to pull them out. It's really stressful. All right, here I go with my third arrow. And I'm watching Dave, it is one strong hit. Oh, why this is my third arrow right now? Shit, my bad again. Sorry, ladies and gents. <coughs> so, this is only a mix for you where I first started and where the all of the guys have come but right here this is the second round of practice with me and Dave me and Dave are the practice before the others started anyway so what you've seen on the start was me and Jack and all the others on the field this is way before I started so this is where me and Dave started firing one target at the background. So it is pretty good with the compound. If I got a compound for myself, would I ever shoot it? No, is it's a really strong bow to pull pull back. So right now you can actually see I am actually concentrated with my friend Dave next to me. His full name is David. But I call him Dave. For short. So right now, this is actually good and wonderful. So right now, this is absolutely awesome and cool. And I'm just waiting for David to finish up. So right now, his boat, whenever you let it go, it makes a whip noise like, like that. Now he's got a special stand for that um, bow, so he pulls it down. So yeah, we gotta get our arrows anyway. But this is absolutely fantastic. I made a mix video, yes. <laughs> but yeah, this is practice round before everyone else went on the field. So this is all good. So this is only the second round of practice. 
Not the first round, because the first round, it was by myself. Second round was with me and David. And me and David, we are best friends. Literally, he does the same type work as me, but he does different. I do engineering, he does something else. I can't remember what he does, but yeah. So right now, we are getting arrows, and I'm just looking at his arrows and how they go through the target. Holy shit. It's that powerful. Now you can see Michael and his door showing up. And this is where he is. So he stopped and looked at the camera. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shit. So right now you can actually see uh, we're still getting arrows out. And talking it. <laughs> But Michael and his daughter looked at the camera. Well, just not him, but she traveled behind the camera. But yeah, it was funny. She actually came back and went around the camera, not went in front of it. It was actually funny. <laughs> so you can actually see he's just walking to his gear next to the camera. And me and Dave is just walking back to our bows. So you can actually say we had fun. It was actually funny. It was actually dead funny. It just... <laughs> See, Michael looked at the camera. It's just holy motherfucker. <laughs> so right now, I'm just walking back to the camera to do another round. Now, right here, it's round three of practice with me and Dave. So right here, and you can see um, Michael, Michael's target right there that is next to our target. Now, you can see Michael in front of my camera. He, he doesn't even see the camera in front of him. <laughs> Dave's smiling at where my camera is. <laughs> I was actually freaking laughing my head off. Oh shit. See, I was talking to um the um old fella Ian behind the camera. I was talking to him. So Dave's just staying there just waiting for me to come back so we both can shit at the same time. But me and Dave, we are friends, but I'm just talking to Ian how I'm shooting right now. And so on. So you can actually see Jeff walking in right now with his target. He's doing 40 right now. So you can actually see this is way before the other rounds. Literally, um, right now, Dave's just actually getting ready to shoot, and that is actually normal. So right now, I am happily doing this for friends and doing everything else. Now this is only round three of practice before everyone started, so. Yeah, this is all good. So right here, Dave's just waiting for Jeff to come back after he set up his target. And literally, it was absolutely stressful. Literally. Um, I'm just absolutely talking to Ian behind the camera as I go. So you can actually see uh, I'm just talking and talking and talking till David was watching Jeff just uh, come back so he can start so you can actually see I'm just absolutely relaxed talking to Ian and I was trying he's uh, trying out his bow and his bow uh, Ian's bow is really strong pulling back you need a strong guy to pull back the bow 
Now, Ian was talking to me about his bow. It's about a 70-year-old bow. Literally, I am really impressed. So right now, you can actually see Dave Sheen. And that's his first arrow. He is his second arrow. His second arrow was absolutely good. My camera caught everything on here. So you can actually see uh, I'm just talking to Ian and the camera is rolling and filming um, Dave. Dave, when that was, he was absolutely relaxed when he's shooting his bow. Literally. And I quite relaxing. It, it was absolutely relaxing anyway. So, right here, you can actually see Dave's only fixing up his bow. There was something wrong with his sights. So, he's fixing it up right now. Um, his sight was really, you know, not that good and stuff. So, he's fixing it up. So, while he's fixing the bow up, I'm just talking to Ian and just absolutely relaxed. So, right here, Dave's going to get his third arrow shot. Here we go. Three. Two, one, fire. That went straight through the target. Holy shit. Okay. What is the difference about the bare bow and the compound? Well, the difference is the power, the poundage, and the shape. Even the dim the, uh, the dynamics of gravity of fire of firing power and ability to shoot the bow. So right now you can actually see him. Mean, he's just absolutely tired from shooting the bow. So he's going to get his arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good shots. Like it. Mm. All right, you just watch these guys. I'll help Ian with his arrows. So, yeah. Yeah, I was looking forward to having a bit of a shoot up there again. 
I'm starting to get my right knee working again. <laughs> yeah, this is another old round what I used to film. Now, I just filmed the whole guys doing the lawn in the bush. They was doing that to make the bush nice and neat and tight because there's grass, green grass everywhere around there. So they was doing the lawn over there anyway. So I was filming everyone. Everywhere around the whole place. So you can actually see this is a really old round. This is round four of practice. And this is all three targets. So you can actually see Heath is walking to the field with his target so he can start shooting. So right now, you can actually see everything else is all good. So right here, you can actually see he, he's just put on the foot. More than 30, he's showing him off. <laughs> see here. Not 30 like me. Oh, sh. Okay, okay. Not showing off today. Okay. So, right now, you can actually see Michael and his daughter, and Ian. Heath is walking back from his target, so. Yeah. So, you can see everyone just talking. Enjoying talking with friends. You can actually see Jeff and Patrick uh, talking. I'm just showing you guys how strong and skinny is Patrick arrows. Patrick's arrows is like green and yellow. And they are really thin. They are like really thick needles. But arrow shape. So you can actually see everyone's started shooting and stuff. And just absolutely relaxed. So you can actually see I'm pointing the camera at everyone shooting. Look at this. They fired in a different time. So right now you can actually see they are doing great. <clears throat> so you can actually see... These two are really good. I looked without the camera. I looked behind me and it was Jim. So Jim was near the door and I was near the pole. And I heard Jim behind me. And <coughs> right now, I'm just relaxed, watching everyone shoot. And these two, Michael and his daughter, is absolutely great shooters. And this is only an old practice round. So right here, you can actually see that it, it's all good. So right here, it's just one perfect time. So right here, you can actually see the camera shaking. Because I was trying to hold it still. So right here, I'm just walking around, looking around, and just being happy. So I heard Jim behind me, and I looked around. He was talking to Lynn inside the building. So I looked at Heath shooting. He shot really quick, and I looked at Jim. I walked up and I said, hey man, how you been? And we shook hands and talked. I filmed at the same time as well. So right now you can actually see Logan getting his arrows and gear ready. 
to shoot for the day. So he brought his compound today. That is absolutely strong. So he's going to join with Jeff over there. While I'm filming, I'm talking to Jim as well. So this is a multitask kind of thing. So right here, I'm just filming and I actually enjoy my day filming everyone else. So right here, I am going to go back to my bow and I'll see you guys. Oh, that was a nice hit. Uh, uh, I think, ah, uh, you a fish? Yep. All right, get your ass, man. <laughs> cool. This is awesome. You get arrows. Ah, uh, beautiful. A beautiful day to film. Ah. Uh, so beautiful. Alright. There's a couple of hours on the brown board. A little low mowing. I might go back to my target. <laughs> Now, this is another old round with Patrick in it. And he's getting his chair and his arrows and bow ready. So right now you can actually see four targets out now because his target is next to mine. And you can see Logan walking towards my right. The left, I mean. He's wearing a basketball shirt called 35. And it's actually good. Yeah, excuse me about the tummy. <laughs> My stomach's a little bit of puffed up. Um, so yeah, I started to shoot as I go. And I looked. When I shot one arrow, I took a breath. And shoot another one. But right now, you can actually see I'm just taking time with my own worries. So you can actually see I'm... Shooting and shooting and shooting till I get tired, but you can see My right shoulder was starting to sh get sore and stuff. It was early in the morning. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning and I was starting to get in pain in the shoulder, but only cramps Did not have any coronavirus, but yeah but right now, you can actually see I am actually concentrated on the shooting today. I was smiling because everyone said I'm a good shooter. 
And this is only practice rounds what I'm showing you right now. Because before that, that's the after. This is before. So this is the fifth round of practice. So yeah, this is cool. I'm showing you guys bef uh, uh, like after and before. So right here, I'm just shook the arrow because there was a little bit of dirt on it. So I don't need the air waves get like really rickety and off balance. So I shot all five, uh, all four of my gold arrows and I started with my blue. So right here, I start shooting and you can actually see Dave took a break and actually uh, going for a break anyway. So you can actually see uh, I'm just absolutely relaxed on my shooting and stuff. So right here, I shot six arrows. And this is before my string got um, unfreaded. So I was walking to get my arrows. And this is every Saturday and Sunday I always walk. Now there's Lockie, Heath, Ian, Michael and his daughter, and did Jeff? No. I think. Oh yes, Jeff. Got it. all of us got arrows. So you can say I had a good time on that morning. So yeah, this is absolutely great. One perfect morning with one perfect day. So you can actually say there's one perfect shit. Hell yeah. So right here, you can actually see I'm getting my arrows out. And I forgot to tell you guys, I twisted my string so many times to make it more powerful. So I did that before I came to archery on Sunday today. So I did that. So right here, I'm just walking back to my target. And literally... Going back to my bow. And I'm looking back at my target and I was smiling because it was absolutely good. So right here. I am walking back to my camera. And I'll see you guys back to the start. Okay, here we go again. It's in the balloon. Try to hit it this time. Oh, that's my little brother's birthday, bro. Oh, that's good, buddy. Ah, he's done... Oh, what are you doing? See, I think he's turned 20. Great. He's only 19. He's turned 20. He's one of my brothers, but, yeah, he makes me feel old. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not anything brother he has in the family. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm just celebrating his birthday today because he's got to work tomorrow. He's got to go to work with his friend, whatever his name is, um, Lucas or something. Mm -hmm. What? That's his birthday, what, tomorrow? Yes. Well, we should have his birthday for Patrick, right? Yeah.
it hit the rock. Hit the rock? Yeah, I heard a flick. It, it, it hit the rock. Oh, that was a failure. Time to go. Alright, go on with stuff. That's good. Alright, time to get on. Hopefully. We've got everything packed. That's good. So my strings need to be replaced soon, so this is going to be absolutely great. Everyone start to pack up, move out. Uh, oh well. Whew. Right here. Gotta put you guys right here. Let me take off the big lens for you. Fuck. There we go. Alright, gotta put you guys right here. Put this in the bag. Right. This is good. This is absolutely fucking good. And the boys are packing up over there. Alright. Let me turn the screen. Alright. Turn the gown and enjoy the barbecue. Alright, I'm gonna turn on the car. Let them warm up. Turn on and get on the music. See, so yeah, this is the end of the videos, ladies and gents. But I'll see you guys at the dragon den. Till then, um. 
enjoy the archery video what I done yesterday and probably see you guys tomorrow at reptile feeding time oh wait I was going to feed the reptiles today yeah today so I'll see you guys at the reptile then till then alright hey ladies and gents I'm back from archery and right now I just discovered Stumpy my mess she pushed all the substrate over this side so that's gotta be a clean up I don't have my glasses with me so it's gotta be hard to see I ain't got my sunnies and that's it so right now let's get some cleaning up Stump, Stumpy get over there good girl she's always making a mess There. Don't need to make a mess all the time, Stump. There's nothing there. Come on. And I gotta confirm Stumpy is a female, so yeah. So right now, she's looking at a reflection. You can actually see slightly, she's looking at a reflection foot. That is another female in the tank. That's what Chevy done to his reflection. He done the same thing. But right now, it's all good. But this video is not over yet. I'm still gonna feed them. So right now, I'm gonna put you guys right here. Where you guys can see better the dragons. I'll be right back. But watch them. I gotta get the camera stand and the um the camera stand connected that goes on the camera. So I'll be right back. Till then, I'll let you guys watch them.
All right, here I go. Back, ladies and gents. Now I got the greens for my bees. It's stuck on hand because I put fresh water on them from the well. It's actually good. Well was actually good than sewage water. But right now I am trying to keep my reptiles healthy and strong. So right now it's not the time for argument. Now I had a beetle on my bed this morning, so I need to check that. Where the fuck is he? No, he's not here anymore. That's good. He's not here. So yeah, I had a a mill grub beetle from a mill grub that turns into a beetle. That bit my leg this morning. I want to kill a little shit, but I don't know where he went. So, yeah. So right now, I need to feed my beer dragons. And spread that out. Put some calcium powder on them. Uh, on the greens and where's the tweezers right over here good so right now is feeding time for my dragons 
Uh, I don't want them to get hungry anyways because when they get hungry they get really fussy. And I know that in fact. But I love my dragons. I love them all. You can actually hear the cockatiels on the background. They outside. So yeah. Alright. Hopefully that beetle doesn't come back. It was really pissed when I smacked it. Alright. <coughs> Alright. I think two more worms will do it and Mills here. That's one. That's two. Okay. That's good. Like I give them a right amount of worms each day. I don't want I don't want them to get sick. I want them to stay healthy and strong and breed like wildfire. So I'm gonna put calcium power on those worms as well while I'm here. So they get a bit of birth as well. So right now, I'm gonna bring the bush out, put it up here. And then point you guys down here. All right. I gotta clean off the seat as well so I can sit down, so yeah. Oh, let me do that first. I wanna feed Chevy by hand. He hasn't been fed for a day because, well, yesterday he got fed, but not that much worms. Because Stumpy ate all the worms, she eats them all. So I need to feed them. Plus, after this, I might fix the, fix the video up and actually do a live. So right now, it, my beard dragons is eating really well and that is really good. Hey, baby. This, this. All right. One more one for Chevy. Good boy. Hey, that's my man. That's my man, eh? All right. Stabby, what's this? What's this? All right, you guys <laughs> see this. Can you see something there? So right now, I'm going. To, I'm going to feed Chevy first. Good boy. That's my man. That's my man. Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? Bug guts on my face. Gee, she flicked it all the way. <laughs> Ew. Oh, girl. You're a messy eater, aren't you? Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? You dumb worm.
He can go to the one. Now I'm gonna give show you two more green leaves. So I'm gonna turn you guys back here. So right now, Chevy's all good. He's happy, look at him. He's an albino male. Inland bit of dragon and he's one fantastic baby boy. Baby boy. Come on. What's this? Good boy. See, I give him his calcium every day. And right now I got my little sister always bosses me around when I'm trying to do something she demands so I'm supposed to be a big brother but nah I got no loud voice I'm a quiet guy well I'm a sensitive kind of guy so right now let's turn this camera around well let's turn this camera back this way so you guys can see I've been looking after my bear dragons for a long time Yes, Chef. There you go, my baby boy. There you go. <laughs> See ya. If you have reptiles like mine, my beer dragons, they are healthy and strong, and I've been keeping Chevy for a long time. And right now, he is seven years old. He's old. He's turned eight years old next year, so don't know what's going to happen. If he's seven right now, maybe he's going to turn about 10, 11, 12, maybe 20. Who knows? But right now, all my dragons are all beautiful and well looked after. That's my girl. Come on. I know you want me. Come on. Good girl. Look at my baby. Good girl. That's my baby. Now I gotta move the feed dish over to the corner, so I need to do that. That's my baby. That's my girl. And Chevy's walking around. Hey, dopey face. <laughs> That's my boy. You yeah, always been my boy, eh? You always been my man. See? He is one clever boy. He's seven years old. And he's still kicking. He's still alive. So, yeah. That's my man. Here you go. Go on there. Go on there, baby boy. That's my boy. Take baby steps. <laughs> He's my boy. I love him so much. He's always been my man since when he was like a baby. And by first, I thought he was a female, but no. He's actually a male. If you put a torch on top of his tail and look underneath... He's got two little bobs. He's a male. And I looked at the bottom of his tail before. He's a male. So that's a confirm. So yeah, this is the end of the video, ladies and gents. So I hope you guys like this video of archery. So I'll see you guys next time on my archery videos or my reptile, or reptile videos or engineering tomorrow I am going to finish off that cutting and then that's the first part next part is cutting the plate in half then rewelding it so it doesn't warp so right now I hope you guys like this video if you like this video please leave me a like on the right side of the screen subscribe to my channel the bottom of the video 
and comment or way down below. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, stay tuned for more gaming, more reptiles, more archery, and more welding and cutting. Till then, there's a scorpion. Get out of here! <laughs> Get over here!